You are on the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top potter on TradingView with over 250,000 reputation points. And what I love the most is sharing educational breakdowns to show you how you can be looking for the best trading opportunities in the market. So without further ado, let's go and see which is today's Forex pair that we need to break down. The pair that I want to speak about in this video is Euro and ZD. The market has just completed exactly the pattern that we wanted to see from our previous analysis on the pair. So now it's time to see where we can be looking for the next potential opportunity. And as usual, I will be keeping the analysis as educational as possible. So first, we will be covering the technical aspect of this market. Then we will go and see what we have from an order flow perspective. So by checking the commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are doing in the market. And we will be checking the data both for the euro and for the ANZD. And obviously by checking what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, and also checking what we have from a technical perspective, we will be able to understand where we have the highest probabilities for a potential trading opportunity on this pair. Now, starting here from the monthly time frame, what do we have? Now, here in the monthly, we have a market which has just provided a nice M pattern. Now, generally speaking, after the creation of an M pattern, what you expect is for the market to provide a move to the upside to complete the pattern at the previous support turned resistance. So here in the monthly time frame, what we expect is for this market to provide a nice move to the upside to complete the pattern itself at this previous support turned resistance. So here in the monthly, everything seems quite bullish and we do expect this market to provide a move to the upside to complete the pattern at this level. Another thing that we can notice here is that at the moment we're testing a very strong monthly demand. In fact, from here the market started all this move to the upside and currently we are testing the exact same demand area from which there is definitely the possibility to see the market provide a rejection to the upside. Going down on the weekly time frame, what do we have? Now here on the weekly time frame, we can see that at the moment, the market is testing strong previous weekly resistance, which has now turned weekly support. In fact, from here, the market started this move to the downside, the market then broke above the zone. And at that point, this previous resistance was turned support here, again, support here, again, support here. And currently, as we are testing the zone, the market is starting this rejection to the upside. So the zone is still acting as support and we can expect the market to provide more continuation to the upside. Just a quick reminder, for more educational breakdowns, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Going down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Now here in the daily, we can see how the market had created this W formation. Now, generally speaking, after the creation of a W formation, what you expect is for the market to create a move to the downside to complete the pattern at the neckline, which is the previous resistance turn support. In fact, I also made a full breakdown of Euro and ZD when the market was at this level, explaining all the reasons for which from here, we did expect this market to provide this move to the downside to complete the pattern at the previous resistance turn support. And in fact, that is exactly what the market did. And by the way, I will link in the description this previous analysis so you can go and check it out for further reference and more free education. However, at the moment, what do we have and how we can be looking for the next potential opportunity here on Euro and CD. Now, before I show you that, let's first go and see what we have from a COT perspective. So commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are doing in the market. Now, if we check the data for the Euro, what we can see is that lately net positions have been increasing. In fact, we went from having 66.8K net positions all the way up to having 93.9K net positions with 16.9K longs added with the last report, reaching 223K long positions and 129K shorts. So the Euro is getting quite strong. And if we go and see what we have on the NZ, we can see that overall the NZD still hasn't made it back to the 17k net positions that we had here. So basically we are currently sitting with 9.3k net positions which is a decreased 
from a 17k e net positioning that we had here with currently 26k longs and 17k shorts and we still don't see proper longing on the NZD meaning that we can definitely still have some NZD weakness which would make Euro NZD create a move to the upside with a strong Euro and a little bit of weak NZD. Now, from a technical perspective here on the daily, we have a nice impulse and correction. Generally speaking, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse. And if we do that, we can see that currently we are testing that zone, which is in between the 0.786 and 0.618 of the Fibonacci's taken on this impulse, meaning that we actually have a confluence of support at this area coming from this previous resistance turn support with the 50% 50 per, 50 and it's 0.618, creating basically a very strong demand area that we do expect this market to reject to the upside. So how we will be approaching this potential longing opportunity with students? As usual, we will be reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly and daily timeframes, those are the best timeframes from a directional perspective. But when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best timeframes are the 4-hour and the other intraday timeframes. So inside of this area, we will be monitoring price action with students from a 4-hour perspective and lower. Now, until everything will remain bearish as it is right now, this market will easily continue to the downside. However, if we will actually manage to have this market shifting from an intraday bearish market as we have right now to an intraday bullish market, at that point, we would be adding Euro NCD to our watch list with students. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be taking a nice long with a good risk to reward and good probabilities at that point for the move to the upside and for the market to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside and creation of a higher high. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you smash that like button and comment below. Also, you can go and check out the mentorship program. The link is in the description. It's a very complete program. First, you learn all my rule-based strategies. Then you trade the strategies with me. In fact, every day I give you a new daily market breakdown showing you how to apply the strategies with the entries, stops, and take profits. And you also get a Q&A session every day in which I answer all your questions. So it's a very complete program. I really suggest that you go and check it out and I will see you in it.